Hey guys, welcome back to Outdoors for Amateurs. Um, today we're going to be doing a little bit more uh, bow hunting. Um, some skills, so we're going to kind of go over. I'll let Drew go over the bow. And we're going to shoot a couple rounds, as you saw in the opening there. And try to get a couple on target and just kind of give you a little bit of the insight on the wonderful world of bow hunting. Alright, so I'm going to let Drew take it. You got it. Alright guys, so we got a bear legion here. Wonderful little bow. I got to sit at 68 uh, pounds and a 28 draw. Nice little thing. As you can tell, when I shot the target, I didn't quite get zero, but that's because it's not quite sighted in. We're going to be uh, sighting it in today, and uh, what I like about the bow is we can do it in the backyard. We don't have to be out of range or have targets at 100 yards with carrying protection or anything like that. All we just need is the bow, the trigger to release, and some arrows, and a target for the arrows. Now, you got a soft target a little bit better than the tree, putting a target up on the tree. At least we don't have to risk that the arrows go bad from that. So, Alright, so I shot about here, a little bit to the right of the target, of the center. So I'm going to need to move the uh, front sight post to the right. This way it'll shift the bow to the left itself. So, what you gotta do is grab an Allen key that'll fit your sights. Now, find the spot there. Alright, at this point I just want to make a small adjustment. I don't want to make a huge adjustment. It's pretty much there. I just gotta make a small one. Make a small one. Alright. Once we get the center pin on this sight, once we get the center pin, on this site, right in the middle of the target, we can start adjusting different lengths, different heights, and different uh, vertical and horizontal. So we just need to get that orange pin centered first. After that, we'll get everything else going, and then we should be on target. All right, we should be at 20 yards here. We might be a little bit less, but it'll be all right. All right. Let's see what my next shot will do. Alright. I think we're about there. What do you think? Try the second round. Sorry about arrows. They're cheap. Well, they're expensive, but you can reuse them as opposed to bullets. It's a little harder to reuse a bullet. Unless you're reloading, you just save the casing, but it's not the fault that you're reusing. I must have jerked that one. I don't know what happened there. Alright, well, let's reset this and see what we got. I must have jerked this one, so hopefully we had to pull, I think this is the one that we had to pull out of the wood, so it might have some issues, but hopefully not. Uh, this one did pretty good. We're about an inch over and forward to the right there, but uh, hopefully that will be alright. You know, I don't know how much more I can adjust this without going too badly over, so... We'll see what we got. If we can get a quick group out of this, um, possibly this will be good to go. So let's try this out. Now let's see what this one does. Wait till the wind dies down a little bit, it'll affect my shot. Who knows, it might correct it actually. I can't really tell where the second arrow went. Wanna go see? 
on top of each other. Well, um, I'm still too far to the right. So probably slight, what do you say, slight? Slight adjustments, Caleb? Oh, oh dude, that's awesome. Yeah, now it's time for a really slight, slight, slight adjustment. All right, we got it loose. Let's see, where are we at here? There we go. Let's try that one out. All right. Put that on key back in my pocket so we don't lose it. Small things. Hey, you mind holding this real quick while I pull these out? Whew. Get it set back up for the next shot. See where we're at. Carbon arrows with a hundred grade field tip. You know, they're not the best arrows on the market. You know, but they're great for practicing on, especially for somebody like me who just started bow. I just picked this up a year ago, and I probably practiced it what a handful of times so far. Uh, in fact, the first couple times I practiced it. I lost all my arrows in that tree right there. So, uh, you know, I'm still learning, but I think I'm getting pretty good with the grouping once I get the grouping down. You know, just like normal shooting, once you get the group, you can move the sights over. I'm not even going to play with the sights at this point. You know, I'm a little tired. If I move the sights, I'm going to have to test sh shoot it again and keep test shooting it, keep test shooting it until I get it right on. And That'll kill a deer. That will kill a deer. So, you know, granted, I don't have my uh, archery tag, so I don't have to worry about it for this year. You know, maybe in a week I'll come back out again and practice shooting 
actually I should every week come out and shoot a little bit so my skills don't get rusty and I can feel a little bit better. Um, like I just said, I picked this up a year ago. This is my first bow I've ever owned. So far I'm enjoying it. You know, I love it. It's fun to shoot. I'm going to have to tighten those down here when we go inside. But, uh, you know, pick up a bow. It's really fun to shoot. You know, even if you don't like hunting, just pick up a bow, stay in the backyard and practice shooting. You know, it's not like you're going to kill something with a target. You know, it's a really good skill. Really big discipline. You know, you got to worry about your breath control and your eye, sight alignment, eyesight. And also with this, compared to a rifle, you, know, you have to make sure it's even, you know, or squared, up and down. You know, we have a level there to help us out, but if you don't have that level, it's a little difficult. With a rifle, it's a little bit easier, you know. And funny thing is, we're planning on doing shooting tonight, uh, today, and film that of us sighting in some rifles, but uh, that didn't pan out, so I thought, well, maybe I would bring out the bow and practice on that for a few times and keep practicing at it. It's a nice little bow, a Bear Legion from uh, 2013. It's rated up to 29 and a half uh, draw length and a uh, 70 pounds. But I got it set at 68 and its draw length is set at 28 inches. So that's my size. So that fits pretty good. It's not real heavy, but it can be. It can get pretty heavy while you're sitting there trying to hold it steady. But it's fairly light for us to pack into places and things like that, so I like it. Um, I don't care if it's PSC or Matthews or anything like that. I'm that brand loyal. I like all brands. But this is the first one I picked out. It took me like three months to finally decide. Going between different sporting goods stores, checking websites, doing my research and research and research. And from my understanding, for a good uh, beginner, Bear was a decent company. So I decided to pick them up. You know, once I get better at it, I might pick up a PSE or a Matthews or something like that. But I don't doubt I'll get that far into it. You know. Those could get pretty expensive. I just want a nice budget one for a good, decent price and get as much as I can. And I got this for about 500 bucks, I would say. All right, guys, we're uh, going to call it a day now, as you guys just saw. Um, if you like us, hit the subscribe button. We're going to be around. We're going to be producing videos every week. We're hoping at least once a week. Um, and on top of that, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, um, shoot us an email, leave a comment. We'll look forward to actually listening to you guys talk and tell us your guys' experience. So come on out. You know, let us know what you got. If you got a bow and you're practicing on it, let us know. You know, If you got any tips, suggestions, anything like that, let us know. All right. Thank you for coming out today. Have a good day and uh, be safe.